Nel mondo degli yacht c'è un limite 24 metri. In the world of yachts there is an important distinction between smaller yachts, recreational crafts and larger ones. This threshold of 24 meters serves to define various rules, including the type of license necessary to pilot them. But for a moment, let's forget about this and simply admire this Ferretti Yachts 850. You should know that there are very few yachts of this measure sold all over the world every year, but this 850 is so well liked that four were already sold before construction had finished, based solely on the design. For us instead, let's go look at the actual boat. You might think it is crazy to buy a yacht of this value, 4 million and 300 euro, after seeing only the design. But we are talking about the Ferretti Group, a world leader with nearly 50 years of history, with endless experience, ranging from the construction of the CRN mega yachts to the extremely fast Pershings, to very luxurious Reavers, not to mention all the other group brands. Experience is that being shared by the same team of engineers and designers, and thus enriching all of the products. Is it wonderful? It appears slender, even sporty, despite being a flying bridge with a raised wheelhouse in respect to the main deck. It is thanks to these long windows, which jut out like arrows toward the bow, the Italian designers are masters of style and the Ferretti team seems to have no rivals. How long could this be? I think many would estimate about 30 meters, precisely because of the effect of its profile, but it is actually approved as a recreational craft, that is to say within 24 meters, although with a bow shape it reaches an overall length of 26 meters. I did not want to dwell too much on the measurements and then not talk about anything else, but this is necessary to discuss. For example, some yacht state measurements that include the long aft planks. Here, it is not so. The whole length is used for living or technical space. You get the stern swimming area by overturning the transom door, which then drops and dips for launching and hauling a 385 centimeter tender. The upper deck is a boundless area. The designers have left a lot of room for the walkway and have created a comfortable area for many people, protected by a hard top or a tea top. Those who want to sunbathe may do so on the stern. All the furniture is freestanding. That is to say, it is free to be moved to form a dining area or living area at the owner's discretion. The kitchen has been appropriately placed in a corner of the deck thus optimizing the distribution of space. In the cockpit, the sunbed and the sofa are a single element to be used in two different ways. It is a large yacht, it does not want for space, but in any case they have developed ideas as if every centimeter was precious. The sunbed also serves as a sofa on the bow to sit around the table. The area can be protected from the sun with umbrellas or awnings. I like how they have defined the solarium with combings, but mostly I like the organization of the deck fittings on the bow with this arrangement of cleats and winches. Now I invite you to look inside. Free of any concept of style, clear your mind of what you consider to be beautiful and look at this new, the Ferretti Yachts, a new concept of luxury spaciousness. The furniture and TV are lowered because here the show to watch is the sea. Pavements and ceilings are not just panels but functional decor. Here for example is the outlet of the air conditioning and music. Partitions and vertical blinds give the feeling of an even wider space. Minimal furnishings enhance the breadth of this spectacular room 10 meters long. Over the dining area, there is an original bookcase with open structures in brushed metal and cubic containers in crystal fumé. The kitchen is offered in two layouts, separate from the guest area, or contiguous, a solution much less formal which is welcomed by the American customers. 
From this area, there is direct access to the crew quarters with two cabins and two bathrooms. And now let's explore the lower deck. Here's the owner's cabin. The mirror amplifies the light and doubles the images. Look how crazy it's made the cameraman. So much space available, but there is no closet. There are many lockers, however, even under the bed. The suite includes a desk, which is also a vanity. The bathroom has sinks with stone bottom and an almost invisible shower head hidden in the ceiling. There are three more cabins, two double and one twin, all equally classy, comfortable and with impeccable finishes and with their own bathrooms. This yacht is the fruit of the efforts of the joint efforts by Ferretti Group's Product Strategy Committee of the Studio Zucconi International Project for the external design and the interior layout and the engineering department of the group who handled the technical and naval project and interior design. Questa unità è motorizzata con due motori della MAN a 12 cilindri a V. Potete scegliere la potenza di... The unit is powered by two MAN V12 engines. You can choose either 1,800 or 1,900 horsepower. Here we have the greater, 1,900 horsepower. It is propelled by a shaft line with a V-drive inverter. This serves to reduce a bit of the inclination of the shaft in order to have a greater efficiency. Today, in the Gulf, in front of Cannes, the water is not exactly quiet, the waves are quite high and we are facing them on the bow. The camera that shows the stern wake tells me that we are already planing, at a speed of 14 knots, with engines at 1,400 revolutions per minute. At this time, the fuel consumption is about 100 litres per hour per engine. Let's give some gas. This yacht is completely built in vacuum resin infusion. When making a boat of this size, it's very important to use this type of technology because you can save a lot of weight. Compacting the resin between the glass fibers, you can reduce its quantity and also manage to increase the overall resistance of the hull. This gigantic hardtop is also reinforced with carbon fibre in its critical points. It took the yard two and a half years to design and build this hull, but also its outfitting and systems. And such a long time makes me think that they have worked very carefully. Having a length of less than 24 metres, this yacht can be piloted with a pleasure craft licence. And in fact, there are many owners who are also skippers. Of course, they probably have gained some good experience. Maybe they had 60 or a 70 footer before this one. But driving is not so difficult. In giornate come questa, navigare dal fly è uno spettacolo. On days like this, navigating from fly is a marvel because we are high on the sea and the waves seem lower. Actually, this boat also has an internal steering position. And now let's go down to pilot a moment from it to explain its purpose. This is what the inner steering position of a large yacht should look like. Look, it's all black, because the pilot's focus should only be on the instruments and the horizon. When conditions get tough, that's how a skipper wants to lead his boat, with all his concentration on what he is doing. These V12 MAN engines are quite powerful, but also love to run at quite high regimes. For example, at 1,800 revs a minute. This is an excellent transfer rate. We are now at 20 knots, but we are still far from the limit of this yacht. Let's give it some gas. 
The hull is very long, the weight balance is very good, the pitching is minimal, even in these conditions. To counter the rolling, you can add gyro stabilizers or zero speed fits, and if you want, you can work with systems on because the designers have provided an engine room large enough to hold both solutions. We are at 2,000 RPM, 25 knots. And now we bring it to the maximum, maybe trying to adjust the flaps. We have a full tank of fuel, we are in the maximum load condition and the boat nearly touches 30 knots. But probably in a better load condition, it's possible to improve. Now let's see how it reacts in turn. Ha molto timone. È prontissima. The rudder is very quick and also the turning radius is pretty tight. Se dovessi dirvi cosa non If I were to tell you what I did not like about this Ferretti Yachts 850, I would remain speechless.